So where did we leave off? We just got back to town and we had <clears throat> completed our quest for returning the Elaine. sister's head to her. Yeah. And we were just about to head off and sell stuff, I think. We'd already sold stuff. Oh, did we? Or at least I had traded stuff out. Mm. Are I'm you thinking, wanting to stop and do did, some selling? Did you get the War Razor? I gave the War Razor to you, right? No. I can't use it, remember? No. Did you want the Ransor then? No, I can't use it. Hmm. Okay, well, do you want the leather armor? I've got studded leather armor. I know. Oh yeah, you traded out the 5,000 crystal. That was 50 gold. We split that. Mm -hmm. We each got 80 gold pieces. Yes. We have a divine scroll of cure light wounds, a wand of cure light wounds, two sets of leather armor, a dagger, and ten darts. Yes. And a vial of nymph's, nymph's lore. Okay, are you going to be trying to sell that? Uh, sell what? Any of the items? Yes. yes. Okay. Because we can't use the Ransor. I've got a nicer dagger, because it's not a masterwork dagger, is it? Nope, didn't say so. Yep. Um. <clears throat> can't use the War Razor. Not really, anyway. Okay, so the War Razor you're able to sell for four gold. I thought you said it was worth 308. Oh, was it a Masterwork War Razor? Yeah. Okay. Yes, in which case you're able to sell it for half that. 150, 154 gold. When you sell items, you sell it at half value, at half its uh, purchase value, Yardell. When you sell it to merchants, anyway. Yeah. Okay, what's the Ran Sewer Master work? Uh, yeah, 310. Okay, so you can sell that for 160. Two seconds, let me pull up my freaking character sheet. Well, it got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, it did. You got your character sheet pulled up yet, you're now? Yep. Alright. I sort of got half the editing I have to do on the highlights or editing out him looking at his character sheet. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so that's what? Ooh, 154 plus 160. No, that's one fifty five. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the two pieces of armor too. Okay. Do you need their values? Well yes. Yep. Okay, what kind of armors were th was it again? Two pieces of leather armor. Okay pieces of standard leather armor. You can sell both of them for 10 gold. Each? No, together. One of them is worth 20. If it's standard leather, no, it's only worth 10. You might have had the value of it, not what you can get for it. Well, I mean, if we're only getting five per, that's a fourth of the price for each one. No. Well, you have the, cost, the standard cost of leather armor is ten gold a pop. Why'd you tell me twenty? Two of them are twenty together. All right. Alright. Are you going to be doing any more shopping? 
Uh, we have this piece of crystal that's worth 150. Want to keep it or get rid of it? Um, I will see if I can find somebody to sell it to. Okay. All right. And get rid of this dagger and these ten darts. I guess we're not using them. Okay. I will take the crystal and see if I can find somewhere to sell it to. Now get rid of the, dart, the dagger and the ten darts. Okay. And, uh, you're actually able to find a uh, dwarven uh, smith shop mm -hmm. that you think might actually take the uh, crystals. Because they also, along with having weapons and, uh, weapons and tools on display, it also has a collection of jewelers. Mm. How much is he willing to pay for the crystal? Okay, how much did I tell you the crystals were worth? The piece of crystal is worth 150. Okay. He looks at it. And, uh, tells you that he can buy it for about 75. Okay, okay. Hmm. I will do a diplomacy check for Haggle. Okay. That's Already? Funny. That's great. Okay. <laughs> That's great. I'm beginning to think that that dice is weighted, Tyler. You want to try rolling it? trust this dice. <laughs> Obviously he doesn't trust you either. And it just rolled normally for him right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. No? Why not? 90% of those rolls were like above 15. Okay. You want me to re-roll? Nah. Alright. Okay. So yeah, he says, uh, okay, I can do about 185. 185? Yep. In gold? In gold. Done. Shit. <laughs> 185. He, he said 85, not 185. I was gonna say, you just <laughs> got the crystal for what you would buy it for, plus some. Jeez. <laughs> your gym is apparently not caffeinated enough for your bullshit. 85 sounds like, sounds good to me. I will pass him the crystal. He takes it. And proceeds to begin braiding it into his beard. How? Oh, it's not drilled out and there's nothing to... Never mind. <laughs> and the gold? He hands you the gold. Thank you. All right. I'm getting rid of this dagger and these ten darts. Okay. I'd be great if it was actually flat. I will go ahead and go. Are they masterwork or? Nope. The dagger you can sell for a gold. Okay. And you said ten darts, right? Yeah. Okay. Are we talking blowgun darts or standard darts? Standard throwing darts. <clears throat> he says for those he can do about two gold, five silver for the ten of them? yep yeah, that, that'll work <sighs> alright I'll meet back up with Nori and is Unold still with us? Uh, Nold is currently waiting in the tavern. I think he went his own way, or was going to be going his own way because we didn't. We told him we didn't exactly have a job lined up. That's right. But you know that he might still be in town if you guys wind up with another job. So are we going with Nold as the guy? The Mount Helios chick that we killed. Mm-hmm. 
No, Lahiri was the male elf and Aldous the female halfling. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just trying to get the story straight. <clears throat> Why do you guys get so confused about these? Because you keep switching up to what they Which are. one sounds like a male name and which one sounds like a female name? I don't know. Say them in your head, Anold. Does that sound like Arnold. a cutesy girl name? Arnold. It sounds like he's gonna tell us to get back to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Sorry, it sounds like she's gonna tell us to get back to the chopper. Um, <clears throat> because she left her brisket in the oven and she needs to get home in a hurry. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a job board or something. <clears throat> yes, let's go looking for another job. Alright, let's do this. Okay. So, one of the jobs mentions that there have been slavers picking up merchants on the road outside of town. Not quite sure what's happening to the merchants after they're picked up by the slavers outside of the fact that they're most likely sold for slavery. So is the job to rescue the merchants or to get rid of the slavers? Two very different job descriptions. I think Both. They, I think they fall into the same category. True. And another quest mentions that a white dragon is driving monsters, uh, up from the salt toward the town. It requires fighting a dragon, and I'm not quite sure I'm ready for that. Does it mention how big of a white dragon? No. <clears throat> yes, uh, I like to. I, I like helping people, but I also like living. You know, also this. The slavers seem to fall fall into a. Uh, Something I could get behind. Also, yes. as far as as far as the Everbloom is concerned. Also, one of the quests that appeared while you guys were gone mentions that uh, during the time in which you guys were gone, taking care of your previous quest, a circus had come into town and disappeared the following morning, along with several of the town's children. Yeah, that one sounds more like the pressing concern. Yep. Yeah, it does. The price is uh, offered up right now is about 600 gold a child. And how many? Very safely. And how many children are missing? Seven. So it's... Yeah, that one I'm not worried about as much about the gold. That's a nice afterthought, but we, there are children that need rescue. This is true. <clears throat> Who's Plus. the contact? The contact mm -hmm. is the mayor or any of the parents, all listed on the form. Okay. Shall we go talk to the mayor and or one of the children's parents? Mayor. Mayor. That seems like they would have more information as opposed to just a general yes. one-child situation. The parents will probably be hysterical, and most likely they're not going to be extremely helpful. Whereas the mayor should have information about the uh, size of the circus, what kind of uh, layout they had, how many people, what kind of animals they had. Right. Also, here's 161 gold. And two silver. Well, a 25 silver. Oh, thank you. Right. Let's find out where this mare is. Okay. You're able to quickly ask around and find the building that the uh, mayor resides for his day to day job, which is a, uh, which is a small office that's built into the central meeting hall. Okay. And when you come in, you explain to the receptionist uh, why you're there, and she ushers you immediately into the mayor's office. Alright. Good evening. Okay. 
Hello, to... Sir Mayor. Good afternoon. We couldn't help but notice that there was a crucial job you had posted up on the notice board in town. Yes. We would like to see about taking that. Okay, no problem. What information do you guys need? Anything you can give us. Well, Description of, descriptions of children, anything you have, names. He produces uh, files, that, a group of files that includes images of each of the children, and he's like, these are the seven children that are missing. Three of them are dwarves, two of them are humans, and there was a gnome and a halfling child missing as well. Mm. Now, the circus came into town yesterday morning, and when we awoke this morning, the children were gone, and the, uh, and the, uh, well, I mean, the, uh, circus was gone, and the children were with it. Seems like less of a circus, and more of a Well, it could be that they're literally after new blood for their performance. It could be that. Yes. They seem to, uh, aim at more magical circus entertainment. Of course they do. Okay. It is <coughs> theorized that they may have escaped through the east side of town. Do we have any kind of numbers on how many uh, carnies there were? It is said there were at least 15. Any kind of animals that might have been trained for combat? Uh, yes, they had a tiger. Okay. Do you have descriptions of what they looked like or anything? <clears throat> it's one of those circuses where most of the performers wore masks. Except when they removed their mask to reveal animalistic faces. Yay. Hmm. We figured it was, you know, makeup and masks all for performance and tricks. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we'll do our best to find them, sir. Yes. Yeah, we will. So how long ago was it that they left? Uh, it is theorized sometime this morning. And did they have a lot of equipment with them? They had several tents. They appeared to store most of it within wagons. Good. That means they'll be sticking to the main roads. Yeah. It wouldn't have been easy for them to break down, so they probably couldn't have gotten far with several tents. Unless they use magic for it. All right. Do you think the parents might be able to give us any better information on this? Not really. Most of the parents are honestly at this point in time probably working in the mines already. And those that can afford to go searching are off searching on their own. Understood. And I have another question for you. Yes? Do you think that this, that the circus and the uh, other thing you posted about slavers, could they possibly be connected? Possibly, but we're not entirely sure on that aspect. Hmm. Has there been a pattern like this before? Are there any, have there been any disappeared children in nearby towns that you know of? Not that I'm aware of, no. Has this circus ever been heard of before, or is it relatively new? Eh, I heard rumors of it about a year back, but at least none of the rumors include that I came across included missing children. Alright. Well, that sounds probably like it's the best we're going to get. Shall we prepare to leave? Uh, we shall. This kind of thing, we don't need to let a trail go cold. Right. The sooner we get onto it, the better. Mm. So, <clears throat> anything you need to before we head out? Uh, well, let's see. I don't necessarily think I particularly need too much. Though we have that wand hanging around, right? 
An old yeah. No, I said the wand. Oh, wand, yes. I said the wand, not the wench. Right. <clears throat> of course, my hearing. Mm. You would think that with these half work ears, my hearing would be better. Do you mind if I hold on to that since you can actually heal yourself without it? We should probably expand our party roster again, though. Yeah. We'll need more than just the two of us if we're going to go taking on a circus. Yeah. Shall we grab an old? Possibly, and see if he has any connections that might be interested in a job like this or might be capable. Hmm. Okay. Let me go find an old. Okay. <clears throat> an old. We have a we have a job. Okay. What's the job? Um, tracking down circus is uh, stealing children. Huh. <clears throat> they were here, they showed up yesterday and left this morning. So, I've got, I've got another person that might be interested in helping with this job as well, if you're interested in. Oh, all the help, the more help, the better. Wait, what, what did they bring to the table? Are you, do you know? Have you worked with them before? Uh, huh? Have you worked with them before, and what skills do they have? Uh, this person can do some minor healing and is, uh, decent in melee combat. Okay. Sounds promising. Have you ever worked with them before? Are they reliable? They're fairly, re he's fairly reliable. Good. Good. Yeah, sounds like someone that we could give a chance to. Where do we find them? He is probably... Hmm. And an old will actually head outside, check the sun. It's about noon. He is probably busy training out in the forest outside of town. <coughs> I can go grab him for ya. Please. Please be, please be quick. We have to... The sooner we get on this trail, the better. Do you know... Yes, we, we do have... They, do, they are ahead of us, after all. Mm. Okay. And an old comes back with what looks like a human with a shaved head, mm -hmm. shirtless, with a holy symbol tattooed on his chest. Do I, would I recognize a holy symbol? It appears to be a symbol of a not very common god, but roll a... Uh, can you roll knowledge religion? Sure can. <clears throat> sure can, sure can. Seventeen. Okay. You would notice that the uh, tattoo is of a blue hand encased in a circle, which is of a minor deity known as Aurori. He is uh, famous for being one of the few gods to have ascended without help from the divine themselves. And so actually... Yes, Tyler, why are you... Yes, Tyler? Do you have Continue. <laughs> yes, so you would... Erori is famous for having ascended by actually achieving one of uh, many amongst goals of actually just outright achieving enlightenment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it rose from man to deity by becoming physically perfect. Oh. Instead of actually having to rely on something else to ascend him for him. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, Alright. So, are you, you're... An old friend? Yes. What's your name? My name is Tom. <laughs> Why? Tom. Alright, well. Did I know to tell you what we're after? 
Uh, yes, something about missing children. Yes, we'll, we'll talk more about it on the way. Right now we need to leave and head east to follow the trail. Okay. Should we check with the mayor and see if maybe the town has some horses we can use? Yes, we should. Okay. So you guys go to check on the, uh... We'd like to see if the town has any horses they can lend to expedite our search. Okay, the mayor says yes, I can lend you some horses. Perfect. Well, I have a pony already, so I guess I can't need a horse, but... The three of us need horses. Tom, yes. myself, and an old... Okay. So. Okay. So yeah, you guys begin riding off? Yes, we yes. go right off into the sunset. Okay. And quickly, as, as fast as we can. So after you guys get off the ground, uh, after the uh, gravel road nearby the town turns into dirt, you begin to notice what looks to be the trail of a wagon. A wagon? Well, a, it could be a wagon, it could be a group of wagons riding in a straight line to lower, to make their numbers appear smaller. How deep is the impression? Does it look like they're, like they're hauling a lot of goods? It looks like they're hauling a decent amount. Okay. Does it look like they were here recently, like within the last few minutes, or...? Not within the last hours? few minutes. You guys will have a bit of a ways to go, because they have probably at least a solid 12 hours on you. Okay. Well, not 12 hours, at least a solid 6 hours. Hi-ho, Dilly, away! Yep. You really named your pony Dilly? Dilly Dilly! Yes, so let's not dilly dally. Um, um, bowling okay. It gets to be about six thirty, and you guys haven't seen the wagons uh, at the horizon yet. Do you guys continue to ride through a portion of the night? <sighs> How long have we been riding at this point? Uh, at this point, it's been. Give me a second. Uh, uh. At this point, it's probably been a solid. You left at about probably twelve thirty. It's been at least a solid five hours. How do the horses look? The horses look like they're doing fine. I say we press on for a little bit. Yeah. Because they will have uh, people who can swap out driving. Of course. Unless they actually decide to pull over to do cooking for the night. Yep, I'm, I'm with that idea. Okay. We will continue on for a few more hours. Okay. Okay, so after a few hours, uh, you actually begin to notice what looks like they might have diverged off the main uh, road to a side road that's smaller. But, if you look at your map, you'll notice there appears to be another town that if you uh, start out early in the next day, you can get to before noon to ask if they've been through there. And what about off that main road? There's no continued wagon tracks? No. I was just about to see. With the main road? Yeah, no continued wagon tracks. Well, it looks like they've headed down this trail. <clears throat> Do you want to camp here, then? It would do us no good to ride without sleep, because, you know. Do you want me to keep watch while you set tents, then? I can see perfectly fine under the dark to us, out to a certain degree. Yeah, we'll switch off. That okay. way, we're not exhausting ourselves. I'll take the first bit of watch, then. Alright, I'll take second. Okay. Uh, Tom offers to uh, take third, and Anold says that uh, she'll take last. Alright. Thank you. More eyes on watch always makes things better. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, you, Tyler, you're going for first watch, right? Yes. Can you roll me a perception yes. check? Yes. 